the high priest knew what he was saying. He said, yes to I'm the son of God, yes to the Messiah, yes to the son of God. Then he flips the son of man. He says he's going to come on the clouds. Now in the Old Testament, only God rides the clouds. Now, one thing I'd love to do uh, is give our our listening audience and, and viewers maybe some practical ways to engage with some of the pushback that is going to likely come. And I'll, I'll just give you two of them that I encounter in the progressive Christianity movement. And one of those is, um, and I was actually, as you were talking, I was typing, trying to find the book that I read this in, and I couldn't find it, so I didn't have it off the top of my head. But you mentioned the phrase son of man. And I think every Christian needs to be able to defend why that uh, is is a, a claim to deity, why that is such a high view. Because when we think about it, we think, oh, son of man, that just, I mean, everybody's a son of man, right? Every every man is born from people. So, And then in a progressive book, and I just can't remember which one it was, they literally said, you know, when when it talks about son of man, it just means son of a human. And then they'll even emphasize that was Jesus' favorite title for himself, and he was emphasizing his humanity. So maybe what's a what's a quick and maybe easy to remember way for the average Christian to be able to engage with that and say, no, actually, that's it doesn't just mean son of a human, uh, humanizing Jesus, but it's actually uh, it, it speaks to his deity. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd take two passages just to use il, as illustrations. One we've already talked about, Mark chapter two, where Jesus. Uh, pronounces that the man's sins are forgiven. And when the Jewish leaders say, you can't do that, that's deity. He says, well, so you know I'm, so the, so you know the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins. I say to you, take up your bed and walk. So that you know I can forgive sin. There's a son of man in that passage. The son of man uh, forgives and forgiving is high Christology. To me, the highest one and probably the best verses in the Gospels for deity are Mark 14, 61 to 64. And there Jesus is before the high priest, and the high priest asks him a straightforward yes-no question. Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Pretty straightforward. All I need is a yes or no here. Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus says, now in Greek, now he's speaking in Aramaic, but this is a Greek translation. Jesus says, ego a me, which is simply, I am. And henceforth, you'll see the son of man coming on the clouds, etc. Now, if I were the high priest, and my view was that son of man is son of a human being, when I ask him, are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? And he answers, ego of me. Oh, I'm, get, I'm getting you. I, I'm, you're saying, yes, I'm the Messiah and I'm the son of God. Okay, that's pretty lofty. And then you flip the son of man. If I were the high priest, I'd say, son of man, son of man. We're all sons of men. I'm going to go back to the other one. Are you the son of God? No. When Jesus starts saying, I'm the son of man, and henceforth you'll see me riding on the clouds and seated on my feet. Father's right hand. The priest blows his stack. He grabs his garments. He tears them, a formal declaration of blasphemy. And what did Jesus say wrong? He just said, I'm the son of a man. No, the high priest knew what he was saying. He said, yes to I'm the son of God. Yes to the Messiah. Yes to the son of God. Then he flips the son of man. He says he's going to come on the clouds. Now, in the Old Testament, only God rides the clouds. Mm. So that was enough. But then he says, and the Son of Man will be seated on the right hand of God. That's another high Christological no-no. And that's when the high priest gets mad. Not, well, how can you, a mere man, sit on God's right hand? No, he knows what he's saying now. He realizes he's claiming deity and he can sit on God's right hand. So those two passages, Mark 2, he forgives sin, and Mark 14, 61 to 64, Jesus answers yes to Son of God, then puts himself as Son of Man as a cloud rider and sitting on God's right hand, and it all breaks loose, and it leads to his crucifixion. Mm -hmm. 